we've been invited by businesses from across North America who have demonstrated extraordinary grit, courage, and commitment to their community, who really need some help in keeping their businesses from the brink of collapse in the midst of a devastating pandemic. There are few things more uplifting than a business owner with a resilient spirit who fights to keep their dream alive, who keeps going in the face of uncertainty, who keeps their head held high when the going gets tough. This is about not only guiding a business through sudden, massive change, but also about resurrecting the business owner's confidence in themselves, that they can turn this moment of crisis into an opportunity. So together, we're traveling across the continent, virtually and in person locally, to help transform and revive these businesses. Not just for the business owner, not just for their industry, but for their community. Okay, so uh, no small feast. Mike and I, uh, we, we met, actually, since we started at the same restaurant on the same day, uh, would have been about 14 years ago. Uh, we became fast friends because we were both the new guy in town. Um, and uh, after about three and a half years, we were asked uh, to cater a party for his cousin's boss, who's having a birthday party. I'll never forget running down to the basement. Uh, at, towards the end of the party, everything had gone fantastic, everyone was happy, and Mike and I just kind of looked at each other. We high-fived, and we had that feeling of elation that, we had done this entirely ourselves. Um, and I think that was the spark that took us from having that passion for food and loving to express ourselves through food to wanting to do it for ourselves. You know, getting that entrepreneurial spark. We were trucking along really great. We, we had our 10 year anniversary. We had just broken a million in sales. And then we hit that brick wall called COVID. Uh, now no one's allowed to have parties of more than 10 people in their homes. So uh, our pivot, our idea has been going to a frozen food model. Uh, hopefully on a subscription basis. Uh, that kind of came out of Mike and I, we're parents. We've got two young kids at home, both of our wives are working full time still, thank God. And we realized every time we make food, we try and make a little extra, freeze it so that next week we've got some we don't have to worry about dinner on Tuesday. And we thought, you know what, there's probably a lot of other dads in this case, a lot of other moms in this case, uh, and there's a hole in the market. You can go to the grocery store and buy some frozen stuff, but there's nobody that's really curating a chef-driven, uh, locally sustainable, uh, just delicious meals that are ready to be pulled out of the freezer because you know what, it's been a busy Monday and you just don't know what the heck to cook for dinner for your family. We've got a short runway because we're running out of money. Um, and, and quite frankly, there's a million and one ideas of how to launch this, how to create the brand, how to make a story for us. We need to focus. We need to get to the point where we're making $15,000 a month just to break even. Are you ready for some tough love? Bring it. Are you ready for some tough love? Okay, yeah. we encounter this with clients all the time. What you said, Matt, was no one is doing this. Everybody's doing this. Don't get wrapped up in your own stuff. Every, do you know how many options we have at home for meals right now? So I don't think you're the only one doing it. So that's the first thing you need to understand. When I'm looking for a caterer, or my wife is looking for a caterer, there are dozens, hundreds. hundreds. What's your sales pitch normally? What do, you, uh, what do you stand for normally? Why am I choosing you? Because you're gonna deal with me or you're gonna deal with Mike, even if it is a 3,000 person party, we're gonna treat it like you are my cousin, my mother, my brother. You're gonna get that personal touch that a lot of other companies don't deal with. So now that we've identified and clarified the problem quite well uh, at this point, let's, let's move on to some of the solutions from our experts. I think, look, I'm gonna go a bit black hat now <laughs> which is how are we going to get money in really quick, really early? There's some people who've made quite a bit of money out of this pandemic. There's some organizations that may be feeling like they've got a bit of cash and a little bit guilty around, around things at the moment. I would be going to them and going, how about taking some of that money and feeding some hospitals instantly? Around, around this, what a great piece of PR, because then you're just trying to find one customer who will, go, who will give you a whole week of, 
of food. While you can get the digital aspect of this up and running, you can take some of that cash and, and hire somebody in social media. Where do I find affluent, guilty people? <laughs> Alison Chambers, she's right here. Yeah. She's right here. Right. 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 He, he, he nodded his head and then put it down in shade <laughs> afterwards, just so you know. Well, look, my guess is, is that you have clients and customers yes. who you worked with before, and they've got to be your first step. So who do they, are they them, or who do they know who are them? I would add to that that the HR companies that are coming to me are saying, we want to invest in our workers because they are not faring well, and we want, uh, do not want to have attrition from mental health issues. So if you can tie that to a return to them, and we're going to contribute to their well-being. You could extend that out to Canadians, right? So that you get a little bit of, um, of uh, high volume transactions with one delivery. Yeah. Hey Canadians, buy a meal for a frontline worker. We're delivering a thousand of them tomorrow. Yeah. Go fund Hospital X for everybody to be fed. Yep. Oh, I love Brilliant. that idea. Mark and I will take reoccurring subscription on that idea. <laughs> sure. <laughs> I wrote a line that your, your kind of brand belief is that no one should be so busy that they can't eat a great meal. And we could even just do a live stream of when we're dropping these things off and, and see the great thing. Uh, yeah, yeah, 100%. Yeah. There's a PR angle here which is great, which is you ending up on the news saying, this is what we're doing, we're feeding our frontline workers. The one thing that uh, news organizations uh, are desperate for, and Scott probably has a better insight to this than I would, but they're really desperate for feel-good stories yeah. at a time which has very few. Don't be afraid to put yourselves out front. You told me that what your unique selling proposition is, is the two of you. So it's gotta be the two of you delivering those meals. Uh, I love the subscription model where uh, I'm gonna get a meal from you every Monday and I'm gonna sign up for an extra $10 so that every Monday you're delivering a meal to a different hospital. Oh, that's great. A different like frontline worker. Yeah, I love it. And make sure that there's video of that every single Monday and it goes out on all your social media feeds and you have somebody helping you with PR to get it to the news station. All right, I think that is a lot of uh, food for thought for our business owners. I'm sure you hear that all the time. <laughs> First time. <laughs> thank you to our experts and thank you to Matt and Mike. So our pain point coming into this was that we had a bunch of strategies and we didn't really know where to focus. Uh, between the last discussion and today, I think we've really narrowed it down to a, a few key elements. We need to create a really good, solid brand story. Um, and I think we're, we're going to pivot our target market. We're going to start looking into people who will buy a lot of these products in one place versus selling a lot of them to a lot of places. Uh, logistics are going to be a lot easier on that. Um, we're not going to give up on serving it to, to moms and dads who are in need directly, um, but hopefully we can get some corporate sponsorship and uh, some bigger players to buy those meals for those people. Um, this has just been an amazing process though.